Hey, long time no see. Hey, nice to see you again. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm visiting Chris. He has a party tonight. Ah, yeah. I heard about that. I might come. I don't know yet. Things still not so well between you and your boyfriend, hey? You know, it's me. I should be honest. Each time when I'm single, I want a boyfriend. Each time I have a boyfriend, I want to be free again. I reflect that on him, we get in a fight, I wish I was different, but I'm not. I try to, really, but I just can't help it. Oh, Jesus. Couldn't you tell the cop I'd be right back? Now I got a fine on my windshield. Um, no, why would I? You're a real pal, man. Why, because you got what you deserved? Shut up. Don't get angry with me for your own bad doing. You chose to park on the sidewalk, even though many proper parking spots are available across the street. You chose to break the rules, and you got a fine for it. Don't expect me to back you up. If you didn't want a fine, you should have parked where it's allowed. Or are you that handicapped, that you can't even walk those three extra meters? Damn near Amsterdam. Here's what I don't get about you. Normally, you're all against authority and shit. But now you're telling that guy to find a proper parking spot or not moan about his fine. Oh get fucking real. It's not like he's starting a revolution, he was just too lazy to take a few extra steps. Take shoplifting for instance. There's a political message in that. Shit at the stores got way too expensive. Poor people can't even afford it anymore. While the large corporations who own these shops make millions of profit. Trains, same story. So you take the train without buying a ticket. But what's the ideological point of view of parking on the sidewalk? That the whole world should be one big parking spot. Um, yeah. Good point. Well, have fun at the party tonight. Yeah, alright. Take care. And you. Two glasses of water please. One for me and one for my friends here. Getting in the mood for tonight, are ya? Ha. Huh. Anyway, I thought you didn't smoke weed since you got in all. M. How long have you known me? Awfully long. And did I ever tell I didn't smoke weed? Well, of all the shit you people smoke, there's nothing as pure and close to nature as marijuana. Directly from the plant straight into your joint. I made this plant exactly as it is. If I didn't want you people to smoke this, or eat it or whatever you like, I wouldn't have made it or destroyed it before you mankind evolved, like I did with the crouch plant. The crouch plant? Yeah, you don't know it. I destroyed it before you mankind came around. Shit like that in your hand would have done really nasty things, even I couldn't handle more than two leaves at the time. You probably wouldn't even be able to handle a tiny bite. Can I try that sometime? No way. So what's the crouch plant do? Ha, weird shit man, psychedelic, you'll see everything attacking you, bumblebees, dandelions, all those things that you normally wouldn't be afraid of, terrifies you, a dinosaur ret half a crouch plant once. He even tried to defend himself from his own tail. And you did that? I'm the only one who can. See, I'm all about eternal love. You probably know that. It takes eternal love to understand that nothing actually attacks you, unless there is a very good reason, once you understand that, you'll be able to see purely the good shit in these hallucinations. I knew mankind would never be able to reach that level, so the best thing was to make those plants extinct. Of course I did need something else to make you do weird shit and make me laugh about it, so I created alcohol instead and made sure people knew how to brew it so that I don't need to change your glass of water into wine all the time. Excuse me Mr. Postman. Could you please tell me how to get to Dam Square? Does it matter?
We're all gonna die anyway. Let me ask you something. All those prayers from people, do you actually hear those all? Not all of them. Thank me, no. That would make me go crazy. So which ones do you hear? The ones that are really meant. What do you mean? Most of the people who say their prayers don't mean a single word of it. Like, God, bless this food. They don't actually want me to bless their food. It's just a habit. They're used to saying that before dinner. They were taught from childhood to ask me to bless their food out of respect towards me. But they don't really want their food blessed of course, I mean, what additional value does blessed food have compared to food that isn't blessed, right? It's just shit you say out of habit. And since you don't really mean those things, I don't really hear it either. Like the things people say before going to bed, thank you for this day, it was so great, blah blah blah, it's only those prayers you don't make every day, that I pick up. Science Park, Aqua So basically, you only hear the good and interesting questions. If only that were true. People really mean the most ridiculous bullshit. Like what? Like the meaning of life. The meaning of life is ridiculous bullshit. If I give you a nice birthday present, are you gonna ask me why I gave you that? No. You're happy with your present, but if I give you a nice life on this planet, suddenly you have to ask me why instead of just living a nice life. I have a ridiculous bullshit question. Oh please, when a boy fancies a girl, he just walks up to her. He'll try to be alone with her for a while so he can tell her that he fancies her, right? Okay. What about it? Well, when a girl fancies a boy, she always walks up on him with a front. They never come to you by themselves, they always come in pairs. And you always get to guess which one is the one who fancies you. They never tell. Hey that's true, you're right. Why do they do that? I don't know. Damn square. Please remember to check out. I can tell you even worse though. What? I once met these twins. They didn't know who I was, but apparently one of them fancied me. So what she did was send a friend of theirs over to tell me. And? Well obviously she didn't tell me which one of the two fancied me. She asked me which one of them I liked the most. Really? I mean, they were identical twins. Imagine having to choose the right girl from these two. So it was a long relationship. Shut up, you know what happened. Ah. Uh. Sure. Laugh, asshole. But you god. Didn't you know which one liked me? I can't look into people's minds. And be thankful for that.